So here's what you here's what you would do. She's afraid of dogs. Now, if I were just going to ask you zero to ten overall, how afraid of dogs are you? Four hundred and thirty. In the moment, probably ten. Okay. If a dog was in front of you, a, a big barking dog. So we've what have we already just seen? What did we just see? Big barking dog. Are you afraid of little dogs? No. All right, ding, okay, aspect. So now we know that one of them is big. They have to be big. That's part of the aspect. They might not all have to be big. Barking, okay. They're alone. There's no, either the people are, can't control them or they're by themselves like outside. All right, see what she's doing? What is she starting to do? Breaking down the mountain. Yeah, she's starting to break down the mountain. And did you hear, see what she, she went, oh, they have to be alone. Whoa, right? She never thought of that. I am afraid of dogs. They have to be big and barking. Wait a second. They also have to be, I think it's in when they're alone, right? What else? And we'll go back and measure these. Okay, notice I don't care what it is, All right? So what I would do, let's just use these for now. We would keep going until she runs out of steam. So big, how, you know, what, what about big? What does big mean? Notice I don't say how big or is it as big as, because I don't know what big is to her. There's a, Ann Adams was doing a, a dog fear demo and she has, her dogs are this big. And there was a picture of him on, on her background on the computer, scared the living daylights out of one of the students. It is the cutest dog you've ever met in your life. It's this big, it's got little cute, a little tiny tongue, and he's always like, he's just the most adorable dog in the world. And the woman was like, I love your dog! Anne's like, you're afraid of Marky? I'm like, Anne? <laughs> because it doesn't matter, because she's afraid of dogs. All dogs. So, what do you mean by big? Okay, and what, is, what does bigger mean? I mean? What does it do to you? How do you feel because they're big? Um, like, I think they can, they can jump up at me and bite my face. Get at my head. Or knock me over because they're heavy. Okay, how I have to start writing faster? See how I have started writing faster? Waist higher, bigger, zero to 10. Zero means doesn't really matter. 10, you're gonna run, screaming. Uh, 10. Okay, bite my face. Mm, seven. Okay. Get at my head. Seven. Knock me over. 10. Okay. To me, this, this is even another one. What happens when you get knocked over? They're gonna maul me. Zero to ten. <laughs> Zero to ten. Um, a ten. Okay, what else is gonna happen if you get knocked over? Um, I guess no one will see that I'm getting attacked because it's all, no one will help me. Zero to ten. An eight. Okay. I want you to tell you tell you something now. You see that the Kimberly was having trouble dividing it because it seemed like a mountain. She kept going into into the mountain because she's been sitting in this class. She's starting to understand what I mean by mountain. With the first time your client comes in there, they will have no clue what you're talking about. You're going to have to divide it for them. She's now beginning to see it, so she's going, oh, okay, so I guess that one little tiny area is an eight. This is going to make her easier to work with because now she gets it. Where Kimberly had no clue because she hadn't learned it yet. 
She was almost getting mad at me. I'm angry. Okay, so the anger from before is different from the anger now. I'm angry. Now she's getting angry at me because I told you I was angry. I mean, it's not that bad, but I'm just illustrating it. So I told you I was angry. I'm like, okay, so what, this anger? Is it different from this anger? Oh. So this is being anger at fault, and this is anger at something else. So she didn't know that. She's just angry. People are not used to dividing the mountain. Once you give them the ability to divide the mountain, it gets easier. It takes practice for them, too. Okay? All right, so you see that I could tell that knock me. So this is like we're not even here yet. All right? So we would do this for each and every one. And again, you think that this is a lot. How long have you been afraid of dogs? So if I took 40 minutes and took 10 to 15 minutes and asked you a bunch of questions and tapped with you for 20 minutes, would that be a long time? No. So I'm just going to start with these. Just for the fun of it, let's just go big dogs, scary, 0 to 10. Um, 9. Okay, barking dogs. I want you to notice that it's 10 if they're like this and it's only 9 overall. Barking. Um, that's probably a 10. Okay. People can't control them? Um, 7. Okay. The dog's by themselves? That's a 10. Okay. The look on the dog's face? That's a 10. Okay. Notice there's no judgment about the look on a dog's face, right? I mean, a look on a dog's face. To her, it means a lot. I don't need to know what that means. And then we would get all the details of each and every one of them. Okay, so we're gonna just give an example. So I'll just tap here and say, even though. Even though. When they're waist high or bigger. When they're waist high or bigger. It, it makes you feel how? It makes me feel scared. Okay, zero to 10. Um, 10. Okay, anything else that makes you feel? Anxious. Zero ten. 10. Um, an 8. Okay. When they're going to bite your face, how do you feel? Scared. Zero ten. 10. Um, 8. Okay, anything else? Um, I, there's a little anger coming up with the bite face. Well. Yeah. Okay. Zero to ten. Uh, six. Okay. They get my head. Um, I think that's about the same as the face. So seven and or, right, or scared. I mean, scared. Scared again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else? It's scared and angry for angry both again. of those, yeah. Okay, zero ten. Um, uh, an eight for the scared and six for the anger. Okay, and uh, the I'm I'm gonna leave that right now for the mommy because we have lots of things there. Even though, okay. even though it scares me. It scares me when they're waist higher, bigger. When they're waist higher, bigger. Right here, right now, I'm okay. Right here, right now, I'm okay. And even though. Even though. If they're waist higher, bigger. If they're waist higher, bigger. I'm scared. I'm scared. Right here, right now, I'm okay. Right here, right now, I'm okay. Is that, that's true? Yeah. Okay. So I'm not going to even have her picture it yet. I'm going to bring it down first. Even though. Even though. I'm scared. I'm scared. When they're waist higher, bigger. When they're waist higher, bigger. Right here, right now, I'm okay. Right here, right now, I'm okay. I'm scared. I'm scared. When they're waist higher, bigger. When they're waist higher, bigger. I'm scared. I'm scared. When they're waist higher, bigger. When they're waist higher, bigger. I'm scared. I'm scared. When they're waist higher, bigger. When they're waist higher, bigger. I'm scared. I'm scared. When they're waist higher, bigger. When they're waist higher, bigger. I'm scared. I'm scared. When they're waist higher, bigger. When they're waist higher, bigger. Are you still scared? Zero to ten. Specifically I'm, scared. I'm still scared. Okay. Uh, seven. Okay. Went down three points. Okay, I'm gonna hop around on this because there's so many aspects. As long as I write it down, it's okay. Even though, even though I'm also anxious. I'm also anxious when they're waist higher, bigger. When they're waist higher, bigger. But you're right here and right now. But right here and right now. I'm okay. I'm okay. Is that true? Yes. Although I feel like I started shaking as soon as we started tapping. Okay.
Even though? Even though. When their waist higher, bigger? When their waist higher, bigger. I get anxious. I get anxious. Right here, right now, I'm okay. Right here, right now, I'm okay. I get anxious. I get anxious. When their waist higher, bigger. When their waist higher, bigger. I get anxious. I get anxious. When their waist higher, bigger. When their waist higher, bigger. I get anxious. I get anxious. When their waist higher, bigger. When their waist higher, bigger. I get anxious. I get anxious. When their waist higher, bigger. When their waist higher, bigger. I get anxious. I get anxious. When their waist higher, bigger. When their waist higher, bigger. Hank, how anxious are you if their waist higher or bigger? Um, a six. Okay. Even though? Even though? I get scared because they might bite my face. I get scared because they might bite my face. Right here, right now, I'm okay. Right here, right now, I'm okay. Even though? Even though? I get scared. I get scared. Because they might bite my face. Because they might bite my face. Right here, right now, I'm okay. Right here, right now, I'm okay. They might bite my face. They might bite my face. That makes me scared. That makes me scared. I'm scared they might bite my face. I'm scared they might bite my face. They might. I'm scared they might bite my face. 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 Take a breath. Zero to ten. How scared are you? They might bite your face. How scared are you? Um. Three. Now I feel more like they might lick me or slob around me. So the easier way to look at this instead of going this way, how this says big, and then you go down and you find the aspects of this, right? And then you go out and find the aspects of each one of these. The nicer way to look at it, this is big. Alone. Alone, right? What are the aspects of big? Waist high or bigger? Waist high or bigger? Right? Bite my face. I'm not going to write this because I'm just showing you. Right? Get, get, my, get at my head. Right? Knock me over. Okay? Now, each one of these, right, has these things. Scared, anxious, slobbered, disgust, right? Maul me. So these are each of these aspects. So when you're working, and then you, what do you do? You, you, what do you do? Right, but what, do you, what, what is missing here? The scale. The scale, okay? So whatever this is, when you started. So this is a 10, this is a, you know, this is an eight. So you can, you can see it go down as you're working on it. And then she's right, who, who, you said that? Who said that, that it go bottom up? Yeah, you get, you get a present, remind me. Okay, so, and then when you're, so when you find it out, you're going this way. When you're working on it, you're going this way. So you have to take all these and make them zeros, or as close to zero as possible, and then you start working on these. What is this now? If this was a 10, and this was an 8, and this was a 10, after you work on all these, you, then after you get all these near to a zero, you go up one, test all these again, they'll all have gone way down. Right, because you've worked on all the aspects. But there's some of them that this might still be a 3. So now you can say, even though if I get knocked down, and you just pull in one of those. So even if I get knocked down, and he might maul me right here, right now, OK. If, even if, I get, if he's going to knock me over, no one will ever see me and can't help me right here, right now, I'm OK. So now I'm combining this set, because I've tested all these to zeros, right, or as close as I can to get a zero. So now I start working on these until I get all these back to a zero. Then I can ask, and then I can work on big. When you start on the bottom, you start on the highest number on the I normally do, you don't have to. Remember the other thing is these, if people can talk about this. If people can't talk about this, you just gotta start. For instance, when I was working with Kimberly up here with the movie, if I hadn't tapped on her, she would have left. She would have not stayed up here. She was on way gone from the demo. Because this she's like, well, I don't remember the exact words because I didn't write them down because I was tapping. I was like, even though what was I thinking when I wanted to come up here, I don't want to do this more anymore right here, right now, I'm okay. I didn't write it down because I didn't have time because otherwise she would have left. So I had to just jump in and start tapping. That's why we don't have any of that. I don't remember what she said because I was tapping, right? So this is if, and, and usually when somebody has a fear of spiders or a fear of public speaking or this kind of thing, it's controlled because they're not actually in, in the situation. So they can talk about this. So you can get all this stuff and then you start from the bottom up. 
and then I would start whoever asked with the highest one. Okay, but stick to stick to you know the little group and get all those down first, and then stick to this little group, and then stick to this little group, and now what's this little group comes up here, and then go back up to here and move over. Now there is a caveat to this is when Greg took over, when he started getting this down to a zero, see all his, his was red, his marks were red so he could tell the difference. When he started getting, to his, to get, getting all these down, they weren't that important because they were too connected, because we're human. So what he did is he left all the numbers here, went down to, like barking didn't even matter anymore, it was a zero. So he went down to alone or the look on the face or something like that and went off on all these things Right? And, so. And, go ahead and drop it. And when we started clearing this stuff out, pretty soon she started clarifying more of a specific situation instead of all dogs. So she found that See, straining, straining barking, barking and dog, a that was alone. But if their owners were around, then that was fine. But if she was alone and they were alone, then it became an issue. So she was able to, like, start narrowing it down to only this situation instead of all dogs, all barking, all straining to attack me. You know, it's like, it, so pretty soon it started changing and we started to, to like clear it out, which was. So that means all these things that you have up here that you're doing might change a little because they're realizing, eh, the reason, see if the reason I wrote alone here when I was explaining it to Pat is because barking didn't matter anymore. So as you go back up, when you go over here, this might not matter anymore. Because when you tap all this down, it changes. Because the person's just, you know, afraid of dogs. They don't know why they're afraid of dogs. I, I had a woman who was afraid of crowds, so much so that she couldn't go to dinner at a restaurant during restaurant time, can't go to malls, right? Because she's afraid of people. She just panics her. At the end, after doing all this, here's what had to happen. It had to be outside, it had to be hot, it had to be people taller than her. It had to be people who had been drinking beer. And they had to be running. This is why. When, when this happened, just by doing aspects, when this happened, she was working at an outdoor concert. And she was inside the concert with the stage. And there was a, a, a gate. And everybody else was tailgating. So when, and she's like about this high. When the gate opened, everybody came running from her. Everybody's above her. All she could feel is stinky people sweating from the outside who had been drinking beer and running over her. So she now understood that she, what was going on because that started to become clear as we just did the aspects. She had totally forgotten about that. And so when we tapped all these down, just by using aspects, we didn't have to do the actual scene because we got all these down. So I said, okay, so we know that don't go to a restaurant where they're outside drinking beer, sweating, and running towards you in a concert. She said, yeah, I don't think that's going to happen anymore. Because <laughs> I'm not going to do that anymore, right? So this is what you're going to find out. So the key is, if I were going to do this, I just go, when you find it out, you're going this way. When you work on it, you're going this way. OK? Thank you. Yeah. I need you to be, I need to be bigger than you. OK. OK. What are you feeling? Is there anything? I, I hope that somebody's with the dog. I am feeling that. Okay, I would I say I hope somebody's with the dog. I hope somebody's with the dog. Zero to ten, I hope somebody's with the dog. What is it? Uh, seven. Okay. Cap around your points. Even, so, credit job, even though I hope somebody's with the dog. Even though I hope somebody's with the dog. Right here, right now, I'm okay. Right here, right now, I'm okay. Watch now. Yeah, it's this one, because I'm going to be alone. Okay. Right here, yeah, keep going. What if somebody's not with a dog? What if somebody's not with a dog? Even though somebody might not be with a dog. Even though somebody might not be with a dog. Right here, right now, okay. Right here, right now, I'm okay. And I might not be okay if somebody's not with a dog. I might not be okay if somebody's not with a dog. But right here, right now, I'm okay. But right here, right now, I'm okay. 
I really hope somebody's with that dog. I really hope somebody's with that dog. But if the nobody's with that dog, nobody's with that dog. Right here, right now, okay. Right here, right now. Even if I'm not. Even if I'm not. Around the points. I hope somebody's with the dog. I hope somebody's with the dog. But it's possible somebody's not with the dog. But it's possible somebody's not with the dog. And how does that make you feel? Well, I'm picturing the dog being more playful and nice. I'm picturing the dog being more playful and nice. I'm picturing the dog's going to be playful and nice. I'm picturing the dog being more playful and nice. I'm picturing the dog's going to be playful and nice. I'm picturing the dog, and if it's, that's not true. I'm picturing the dog, and if that's not true. Then I'm still okay. I can get up and run. Then I'm still okay. I can get up and run. If I feel like it. If I feel like it. How are you doing? I'm okay. You okay? Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Greg, go ahead and let him go. Pictured him bigger. Oh, I pictured him too. I thought he was gonna be much bigger. Like I don't know. And he's okay. So and uh, when I saw him, I thought, oh, he's nice. Like so normally I think I hate dogs, and I see the dog, I hate the dog. But um, I, I don't know. You don't he's, hate him. I don't hate him. I okay. think I could like. I mean. Maybe. I mean, I'm not asking you to log. I know. No, 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 no. But I don't feel that hatred. That's very cool. Dogs. Like, oh, it could be fun to have a dog. Everyone's trying to tell me to have a dog. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great job. Yes. 